Hello there. Um, I've been writing a, a, a blog about uh, beating the odds at uh, Blackjack in particular, but at uh, um, house games of chance, casino games of chance in general, for about 15 years now. And uh, YouTube is the obvious step forward or step up uh, for the process of trying to get the word out about the fact that uh, the house advantage at games of chance is beatable but not easily uh not without risk not without the need for a, a large amount of money all things that uh that, that, that people who tackle the challenge know already so i'm not saying anything new uh to folks like that to people who take beating the house seriously and uh, and go about it in a disciplined consistent uh, and and very professional manner, because that really is the only way to uh, to take on what is obviously a persistent advantage that the house has in all games. The catalyst for me was uh, was this um, simulation, which is uh, on a a website one by uh, run by a guy called uh, the Wizard of Odds. That's with two D's and an S and no Z's or Z's to be seen. His real name is Mike Shackelford and uh, he seems like a very bright, very smart guy. Uh, he's, uh, he's often promoted as being not only a brilliant mathematician and programmer, but also a professional gambler. Now, I don't know the guy at all, but I do know that he has to make his living by uh, shilling for casinos or at least directing traffic to casinos and so that's what uh, that's what he does on his website can't complain about that i have no judgment about that because everybody deserves to make a living and of course it stands to sense that uh, anybody who's likely to find their way to his website just as anybody who finds their their way to this uh, this youtube channel this new youtube channel is likely to be um, of a mind to uh, to gamble to play casino house games and uh, and and uh, deal with the fact that in all probability they'll lose their money uh, <laughs> but this is actually it, it it really is quite a brilliant simulation um i've run a few checks to see how accurate and how reasonable it is and um obviously i can't uh, make a big fuss about the bankroll that you see here on the uh, on the left hand side above the the little array of chips there uh, because it's easy enough with this game to uh, to create a massive bankroll in a matter of seconds without a huge amount of uh, of luck. The big point that I want to make is that uh, uh, the uh, the bankroll that you see here uh, was created over many hours or achieved earned over many hours of uh, videoed video recorded play against the simulation. And it was preceded by a, a, an initial uh, series of sessions which built the bankroll from 100,000 to uh, well over half a million before um, Microsoft or well, Windows 11 decided it was time to update and upgrade my, uh, my computer. And overnight, uh, everything was reset. And I got up in the morning to find that uh, I was uh, about uh, half a million in uh, funny money non-money, play money, light. <laughs> Bit of a disaster. But anyway, just to explain the purpose of this channel, what I'm trying to do here is to show, uh, by example, how you can consistently beat the odds at the game of blackjack. And in fairness to Mr Shackelford's uh, sim, which he may or may not have personally created, that's really not relevant, at least he has it on his website, in fairness to this, it's a very um, uh, good reflection of how things are uh, if uh, a dedicated blackjack player who is very, very skilled and very consistent in applying the basic strategy for the game of blackjack. And the basic strategy, of course, has nothing to do with betting. It has to do with how you choose to stand or, or, or hit or split or double down or do any of the fancy things that you can do. Uh, that are within your control playing the game of blackjack and which of course make the game unique in um in gambling i mean in in uh, uh 
roulette obviously you can choose where to put your chips black or red or odd or even or first or last or middle or whatever um you know but uh, but in this game you actually have uh, the ability to affect the outcome of the uh, of the round um, after you put your money down, because you can make choices that uh, that will improve your chances of winning or make them a lot worse. Most people, unfortunately, attack the game of uh, of blackjack without a proper education in the basic strategy. Uh, they go to the game expecting to lose, and I think that's a condition that affects the vast majority of people who. Uh, who play uh, in casinos in Nevada and around the world. They, uh, they expect to lose. Um, some people say they want to lose. I don't know about that. I know that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, having lived in Nevada for nearly 30 years, uh, not anywhere near Las Vegas, thank goodness, uh, far north in, in country, which is absolutely beautiful, um, near Lake Tahoe and, uh, and the casinos in South Lake Tahoe and Reno. And certainly I went to... I went to Las Vegas a lot on business and, uh, and and to make a little bit of money here and there. But my experience has always been that uh, most people do expect to lose, do not take the trouble to learn the game properly, uh, behave exactly as the casinos expect them to do, because the casinos, believe me, are experts in player psychology. They know exactly what to expect from the vast majority of players. And if anybody steps outside of the uh, uh, the lines that are drawn for them to trot along like, uh, I don't know, tamed rat, t uh, not tame rats, but uh, trained rats is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, rats who believe that they are making choices and that uh, it's it's entirely up to them whether they win or lose, but actually the casino is constantly making choices for them, uh, whether it's uh, dictating the spreads at a particular table or layout, uh, whether it's uh, changing the rules, uh, it's uh, offering uh, side bets and such that uh, that are ludicrously difficult to uh, to win at because the house advantage for those side bets is far greater than the game. What uh, the um, please forgive my creaking chair, but I'm not at any point going to pretend that this is a highly professional, uh, sharp. Uh, channel. What it's about is information. It's not about flash, pizzazz or whatever. It's just about information. But anyway, to continue what I was saying before I completely lose my drift, this particular simulation I think tracks uh, a, a proper game uh, pretty nicely because uh, the, the gross uh, actual value, and, and the distinction has to be made between actual value and a, called AV or abbreviated to AV, an expected value, expected value or EV is the overall known house advantage at a specific game. So that before you sit down at the table, for instance, at blackjack, you know that if you're a skilled basic strategy player, you face a long term house advantage somewhat less than 1%. It's in the area of 1%. Um, this is reflected by this uh, by this simulation because the gross AV, which is before taking into account doubles, splits, and so on, but including naturals, which used to pay off in the good old days at uh, three to two in, uh, in Nevada, and now more and more casinos are getting really tight assed uh, and uh, greedy and changing that to six to five. But obviously, those particular uh, uh, potential bonuses are, uh, are are out of our control. But splits, double downs, and so on and so forth are within our control. And uh, by what's happened with, in particular, the second block of uh, of of rounds against the uh, the Wizards uh, simulation here, what's happened there is we've got a gross AV of about 5% in the house's favour and a net AV, Alexa, stop. Alexa, shut up. I'm constantly trying to turn this thing off and I never succeed. I turn off the volume. The only thing I can do is unplug it and then I forget to plug it. Never mind. Anyway, like I said, this is not, this is not a super slick, highly professional website. It's about information. So once in a while you have to put, off with me, put up with me falling off my chair or, uh, I, I don't know, knocking over the camera, doing the kinds of things that uh, real pros don't do. 
uh, I'm about getting an idea across information. The, the blog to which I will provide a link has been around for a lot of years, about a decade and a half. And uh, I've put up probably about 250 posts over time, some of them incredibly long, some of them a little bit shorter, uh, all of them verbose, all of them highly opinionated, um, uh, all of them protected against, uh, uh, against comments because the only people who ever attack me are people who are trying to protect the casinos from the obvious disadvantage that they face the moment somebody tries progressive betting against them. So let's be clear right now, target betting or pattern betting is very much a uh, progressive betting method. Uh, you move up, you, you freeze your bet under certain circumstances, but you never reduce your bet. So basically what you're doing is moving forward. And everybody, all the professionals in the casino business know full well that progressive betting is the only thing that can beat them. But it can only beat them under certain circumstances. And they are very much against it. They hate it in the same way that, uh, as I said just a little while ago in one of these videos, Mr. Jinx on the cartoon show used to hate those Mises to pieces. They hate progressive betting. And I said when I first launched the uh, the blog years ago, right way at the top, and the, and the message is still there, I said, if anybody doubts that, just take yourself to a casino anywhere in the world, doesn't matter where it is, uh, Nevada is, is my old bailiwick, but uh, anywhere you want to go, and start doubling up or doubling down or whatever you, you want to call it. So first bet one unit, second bet two, next bet four, next bet eight, and so on. You will win consistently doing that. But something else that will happen to you is that, first of all, the dealer will say to you, you probably shouldn't be doing that, you know. I mean, you can you can make a bit of money at it, but uh, it's really dangerous because blah, 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 blah. And they'll try and talk you out of it. And, of course, what you have to do is accept the information with good grace and sort of say, well, thanks a lot. I, I didn't realize I was just fooling around, you know. But if you persist in doing that, in a little while, one of the pit bosses will come up to you and say, hey, uh, uh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, yeah, I want to sign you up for a, a, a player loyalty card. I think you'll enjoy it. There's all sorts of good stuff you can get if you don't do any of that stuff ever. Uh, <laughs> but just listen to the pit boss giving you a spiel about how terribly, terribly dangerous it is. It's it's. It's it's fiscal suicide. It's financial uh, uh, own goaling. It, it's just the worst possible thing you can do to bet progressively. And meanwhile, you'll see drunks and idiots and all sorts of people playing really badly, shooting themselves in the foot, left, right and centre, uh, just just, uh, you know, throwing their money down the toilet or not down the toilet, but straight into the dealer's tray, and not a word will be said to them. No comfort, no sort of, well, you might not want to do that. You might want to go and sober up before you place any more bets. Or you, maybe you might think about learning the basic strategy for this game before you, uh, before you play any more. You'll never hear that. But if you use progressive betting and you're caught at it, you will get a lecture. Guaranteed. No messing about. Now, if you're dumb enough to think that they're, they're giving you that lecture out of the kindness of their hearts because they're concerned about your welfare, then you really are dumb. They're doing it because you are a threat to their bottom line, a constant real threat. And yes, if you double and double and double and double and double and double and, double and however many redoubles it takes before you overtake the, the, the table limit for the location that you're at, uh, you know, that's what will happen. The assumption is, of course, that as soon as you reach that, you'll give up and go home and lick your wounds and never gamble again or do whatever. But in fact, the story is nothing like that. But I'm digressing now. All I'm trying to do is to introduce the whole notion of, of pattern betting or target betting, as I prefer to call it, and simply say to you, if you have discipline, if you have good intentions in terms of, you know, you're not... Uh, you're not expecting to win in a flash. You know, you're being sensible. You're being, you know, kind of like restrained. If you have plenty of money, which you want to increase, 
if you have the realization that you cannot drink alcohol and play cards and win the two things don't go together and that's another thing that lots of people overlook why on earth would casinos dish out free booze lots of people it's it will say well it's it's just a kindness it's generosity it's to improve the experience to add to the party atmosphere to make you feel better no it's not it's to make you stupid that's what it's about they want you to get drunk and get stupid and you know that's their only intent they're not being generous they're not being kind and you will not find that free drinks that are dished out by casinos are weak they are quite the opposite you know you might sort of think to yourself yeah 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 they're telling me i'm going to get a gin and tonic and then i sniff it and there's no gin in there it's just quite the opposite glug 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 you know i mean there will be plenty of booze in there because that uh, plays to your uh, the weaknesses that you start out with when you step into the casino because most people as i said before don't learn the game don't expect to win uh, don't follow any kind of a pattern or any kind of discipline and uh, and are basically uh, sheep lined up for the for the shearer um, you know and and uh, as i said before the casinos know your psychology better than you do so that's something that you can absolutely count on anyway as time goes by, more and more uh, of, of the, the videos that I've shot playing against this simulation, for which I thank Mike Shackelford, uh, and, and, and <laughs> I'm really grateful because visually it's, it's great. The, um, the, the ads on, on the, uh, the right-hand side, I've managed to keep more or less out of the way, but uh, that's something else that he needs to obviously uh, boost his bottom line, and, uh, and I can't complain about that. But, uh, uh, you know, th th there are now, oh, I don't know, at least 100 hours of, uh, of videos. And I talk a lot in them, just as I'm doing now. Uh, you can mute them. You can speed them up. You can slow them down. You can get the information that you need just by watching the way that I bet, the way that I play the hands. You will see some horrible times. Uh, where, well, I, I always used to call them BTMs, brown trouser moments, where, you know, the bets get really high and, uh, and the threat becomes um, very serious. But if you persist, if you are disciplined, and if you have the blunderbuss, the bucks, basically, the big, big bucks, and if you can keep going, you will get through to the other side. Now, let's be clear about one thing, and that is that the, the kind of betting that I'm talking about, you can't do it at one table. You just cannot. And in all the years that I was in, uh, in Nevada and did quite nicely, quite well at, uh, at, at uh, target betting, but of course I had limits because I couldn't, I couldn't put out the kind of money that you see over here. You know, I mean, that's, that's fantastic. If I had, then... <clears throat> I probably would still be in Nevada now, although maybe I'd be at the bottom of Lake Tahoe with a with a, with a, a Brit tied to my ankle. I don't know, but uh, um, you know you cannot do it all in one place. So the way that you have to think is you have to think in terms of okay, so I will bet to a certain point, and then I will keep the key numbers in this particular strategy, which which I just call I call down and out, how much you're down, and how much you need to put out on the table to minimize your risk but maximize your chance of turning around which is another expression that i use a lot turn around you know to maximize your chances of turning around in as few wins as possible now the way this strategy works is that very often you will turn around in just a single win but that doesn't apply all the time sometimes you'll need two sometimes if you're really deep in the hole you'll need three wins but what you will never see is a complete kind of offset of all the losses that took you into the hole in the first place. I mean, in, in, in my uh, games, my rounds against uh, the wizard Sim here, one, at one point I, got, I saw 18 consecutive losses. In real life, I was once at the Union Plaza in downtown Las Vegas many years ago. I don't, I'm not even sure if it's still there. And I saw 23 consecutive losses. Uh, player losses or dealer wins you know it was just preposterous um, I also saw 16 consecutive wins for me 
<clears throat> but uh, but I didn't make any money at them because I don't boost after a win once I've got my target. Once my target is in hand, then yes, I do increase after a win, but not uh, not dramatically. My my aim is to hit my target and then go back to a minimum bet, and that's the most important thing perhaps about this uh, about this strategy, apart from the discipline that's required and the money that's required, and that is the ability to go back to a minimum bet once you've got reached your target what this what this uh, strategy does is it tells you when you've won enough when you're uh, in a good place and it's time for you to uh, take a breather and go back and start over so basically what you're going through is a whole series of skirmishes you're you you know it's it it's a it's a war but it's a series of battles some of the battles are over really quickly the average turnaround comes in less than six bets. That's something that uh, uh, that I will prove over time with all of the logs and spreadsheets and so on, which I use to, to record and analyze the bets that uh, that I've experienced, the, uh, the, the situations that I've encountered playing against this particular sim. I have millions, well, certainly thousands of sims of my own, which only do the job. Of, of playing bets very, very, very fast using a specific strategy. And then I analyze to see, okay, so how long uh, was, the, was the strategy able to continue robotically, like with no human interaction whatsoever? Uh, how long was it able to keep winning before it finally crashed and burned, which will happen without human intervention or any attempt at, uh, at self-preservation or, or self-defense? Um, the the classic one was about two hundred and fifty thousand rounds. Uh, you know, uh, many 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 of the simulations ran for oh a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, two hundred and fifty thousand. It doesn't matter how many rounds. In every case, it's robotic. It's 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 not um, it it's not like real play in a real casino for real money. But it it's an indication. What it tells you basically is not what will happen, but what can happen. This, to me, is the perfect platform for um, getting my ideas across simply because you can, you, know, you can see things happening in real time. You can visualize. You can see yourself playing the game, you folks on the other, on the other side of these, uh, of these videos. So anyway, I better stop this. I'm rambling on too much, but I just want to load this up as my, as my very first video just to say hello I'm not giving you my real name right now. The The blog is under the name Seth Theobo, which is a bit of a mouthful. It sounds kind of Louisiana-ish or, or Creole or something like that. What it actually is, is an anagram for Beat the House. Um, that's what started it uh, years and years ago. And I'm proud of the blog. I think that there's lots of great stuff there. And I've had some wonderful feedback from uh, from people I don't have a huge number of followers and I haven't been keeping it up to date for the last few years. Um, the most recent post that I put up was a gap probably of about three years before the one before that, because basically nothing changes, you know? I mean, you know, the, the, the numbers are still the same. The probabilities are still the same. The game is still the same to the extent that the casinos allow it because they're greedy bastards. And what they try to do is to tweak it and make, make it harder and harder for you to, uh, to win. Um, you know, witness the, uh, the the payoff for a natural and that kind of stuff and limit the number of double downs and, you know. But basically, of course, you know, they're greedy at heart, so they, they often relax their rules after a while and it's a competitive business for them. So, you know, one one casino will break the mould and bring the old games back and the old um, uh, opportunities, the old uh, the old betting opportunities, and then the others follow suit. I mean, it's just it's just an ongoing game. Anyway, you know, welcome. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, I will be posting all of these uh, um, action videos in order with descriptions underneath that explain, you know, sort of like uh, how deep the hole was at the deepest point and, uh, and you know, what the final win was and average bets and, and house advantage and so on. And I think this information will be helpful. I certainly hope so. But like I say, welcome and uh, you will be well, unless you press the mute button, you'll be hearing mute button. You'll be hearing from me again. Otherwise, you know, just just watch and hopefully learn. Certainly get something out of it. Okay, thanks.